All right, man. Welcome back to Agree to Disagree. And if you're new, welcome to Agree to Disagree. I'm my boy Jay Lloyd. Pops. Craig. And we got BG. All right, man. So let's get into it. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, HCE family member, man. Uh, it's been a long time coming for the kid. So I think this is a great opportunity for him. And uh, we want to talk about the signing of Mavell Pell to the Brooklyn to the Brooklyn Nets. So um, obviously he was with the Sixers last year, um, but he had let, got let go. So um, it's been a pretty much a question mark uh, since him being let go to him being signed by Brooklyn. But from my my opinion, that's just that's. It's just crazy how life works, man. You kind of get let go from a situation. And honestly, I think this situation is better in terms of opportunity. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let Jay start with this one. Uh, give us a little background on him. So go ahead, Jay. Yeah, man. Uh, obviously, this one holds dear to us, man. He's He's been a part of the program since the beginning. Uh, used to be practicing with Coach John back in the day since what, sixth, seventh grade. And uh, more importantly for me, man, I just think it's a blessing to see someone's journey and and know all the trials and tribulations, the tears, the anger, the frustration that he, he and we have went through. Um, and for him to finally be able to get to this point, obviously for him, he's not satisfied, but I think it's important obviously to always appreciate the gains you're playing in the you're playing in the best league in the world with the best 450 players. That's a huge accomplishment. Um, in terms of just the basketball side, um, like you said, I think it's a good opportunity, man. Just because obviously, anytime you play with a a D'Antoni coach group, there's gonna be more possessions, and guys just look better offensively. Their statistics are kind of, I don't, don't want to use the word inflated, but guys just have better offensive production when they play under D'Antoni systems. So I think for someone like him, who's trying to find his niche in the league and he's playing with three Hall of Famers, you know, hopefully he'll be able to go in there and do what he does, which is protect the rim and, and, and rim run and rebound and finish around the rim. Those numbers could look pretty good based on, the guys he's playing with, and they have a need for what he provides too. You know, even though he's done it in a small sample size at the NBA level, um, they they need someone that can protect the rim and that can that can finish around the rim. And DeAndre Jordan's the only guy they got right now, but he's a little older. So, like you like like Coach John said, man, just opportunity, man, opportunity. And a lot of times, just you never know until you're. Well, opportunity you have until you're in it. So just just happy, thankful for him and his family. And you know, I know he's gonna go and do his thing and do well. Or uh, hey, pops. Uh for me, uh really it's home because it's 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 so personal. It it's so personal to see a kid like Norvell uh get the opportunity that that he has gotten. Um I remember Norvell when Norvell was in the sixth grade. And I remember when Jared used to talk to his parents, they just let him play. He's tall. You know, just, just, <laughs> just let him play. He's tall. You know, a lot of people don't know that sixth, seventh grade. I mean, I remember one time uh, when he was playing with the middle school, and Norvell was only rebounding. And I think it was late, had a dentist appointment or something. We could get a rebound. <laughs> so he didn't come into the second half and change the whole game. You know, you never knew. Jay said, Jay used to always tell him, get the rebound, put it back up. <laughs> get the rebound, <laughs> get the rob and go. <laughs> that was his job. And and to see this dude stay in it, stay in it, and stay in it. You know, the one thing that, that I'm so proud of him about what regardless of what level he was going to play or get ready for, he would always come back home and say, hey, 
I need you guys to work me out. Okay, I need you to work me out because I'm getting ready to do such and such and such. Because he just knew that Jay knew it, you know, and that's who he trusted. Regardless of who was training, who was doing what, he always knew to come back home. He never forgot about home. Uh, as far as my family is concerned, he's real dear to my family. Uh, Norvell was just, and I, I'm so happy for him. I'm proud of him because he, out of the 450 jobs, he has one of them. And, you know, he's in the league. You know, he has that job. Uh, not so happy that he went to the Nets, but the Nets needed him. <laughs> so they needed him. That just showed how bad the cover. They needed him. They needed him. And for him to get this opportunity, uh, man, I'm, I'm so proud of him. You know, I'm, 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 I'm so proud. It's, just, it's easy for me to get a little emotional because I know the kid. And, and uh, he, also, he used to always say he's going to make it. He used to always say he's going to make it. He didn't give up, and I'm just proud of him, man. Yeah, and uh, I just noticed it too. They got the they got the jersey in the background. Hey man, you know, I, hey, <laughs> uh, y'all say that I'll be telling them, hey man. So I can't wait. I, I need a Brooklyn one, brother. I need a Brooklyn one to come on. We gonna it's gonna be in the background of the show, man. I need a Brooklyn one. Yeah. Go ahead, Craig. Yeah, I think you guys hit everything right on the head. I and I, I I just thought it was interesting, you know, looking at at his background. And I didn't know like he's a citizen of multiple countries, and I didn't know that, which is what I thought was very, very impressive. And also too, I saw that you know when he played for the Tigers, he he averaged a double double, thirty two minutes a game. And I like you guys said, you know, I remember Pop said last show, he goes, you know, who are they gonna pick up? You know what I'm saying? Other than, you know, the the players they had, you know, on the Cavaliers, because they had, you know they got six centers over there. But this, this is a great pickup, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's a, it's a great pickup, and I think it's a it's a, it's a perfect fit. And, and and Jared said the right thing in this system, he's gonna get touches, man. I, I'm I man, I just I'm, I just can't believe that they made that move because, like I said, who else was out there to help him out? You know what I mean? And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about it, man. I, I was I didn't know he went to you know Lakewood, Dominguez, and Price. That that yeah. was pretty good, you know. Yeah, he's so, a local. I, yeah, so that was that was it was pretty good reading his bio. I'm really impressed by by what he did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, BB. Yeah, I mean, I didn't <clears throat> I didn't know him personally, but I knew obviously being in the high school circuit with him, you know, you would see him play and, and just obviously how tall he was. But uh, to piggy off back off Craig, uh, you know, he when he gets an opportunity, it shows like he he can average a double double, right? Um, obviously, it's like you guys said it all. Um, anytime you play with Dan Tony, Jay brought it up when you play with him. It, you get it. It's a sense of freedom, right? You don't really have to think. You just go out there and play basketball the way you grew up playing, which is just get up and down. You read what you read, and then you go. So, um, like I said, man, if, if if he gets the opportunity, he gets the minutes. He shows he can produce, right? Fifty percent around the rim for the most part. Uh, like Craig brought it up, he averaged a double double at one point. Even in the G League in two thousand eighteen to nineteen, he was eleven and eight, and that was with good minutes, right? And obviously, the competition there's right right next to getting get to the next level, which is the NBA. So. I think he's going to be fine, man. I think, I think, like I said, if, if the minutes are there and they let him kind of loose and, and he shows that on the defensive end, he can protect, protect the paint. He can bang with other big guys and, and, and hold his own. That's, that's where more of the freedom comes, right? DeAndre Jordan gets in foul trouble. Who else do you go to? You go to him. And, and like I said, man, it's Jay brought up once when you never know when the opportunity is there until it's there. And, you know, and I, I, I'm, I'm sure he's ready, right? I'm, I mean, you put all this time in and, Jay always talks about it. a lot of people want that microwave success, which is instant. You want it right away, but read his story, right? Knowing what he's been through and all the ups and downs and, and everything he's been through. Now you get that shot to play for a contender, right? So it's, it's, it's going to be really interesting to see if, if he's able, like I said, if he's able to, to get those minutes, what, what he could do with those minutes. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be all right. So he's going to be good for sure. And uh, yeah, man, I'm happy for him. You know, uh, he's not one of those dudes that are – just in the league because he's tall and athletic. I think he has a skill set um, that Brooklyn desperately needs right now, man. Um, he's a great rim protector. Um, the term Jay used, rim runner. I think he'll be really good at that. And you're playing with James Harden. Me and Jerry talked about this earlier. You're playing, you're playing with James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving. Hey, they worried about them, man. So 
you're gonna get some easy ones, especially in that D'Antoni system, man. But um, uh, Vel, if you're watching this from um AC AC family, man, we we wish you the best, and we know you're gonna do great, man. So, um, if you're watching this, also this is agree to disagree. Got my boy Jay Lloyd, Pops, Craig, BG, and I'm John, man. Until next time, we out.